Welcome, viewers, to my new show, Philosophical Fridays. On Philosophical Fridays, I will explain or analyze some metaphysical, ethical, or otherwise abstract issue. So, for today, I thought it would be beneficial to both welcome all my new subscribers and to explain what this channel is all about. You may have noticed that this channel covers a vast array of topics, from my podcast, The Essence, to martial arts training, to freestyle calisthenics and street workout, to my philosophy and science videos. There tends to be a lot of different kinds of seemingly unrelated information all mashed together in the same place. Well, why is this? In the first place, I want this channel to reflect the essence of the human being. There are three aspects of us as humans that se separate us from other animals and define our character. There are three different ways that we interact with reality, and there are three different tools by which we may discern truth. These are the body, the mind, and the soul. We experience reality either physically, rationally, or spiritually. The physical aspect of our being is probably the easiest to explain since we are all familiar with it and are constantly using it. It is that part of us which interacts with and interprets energy using the five senses. These senses, as everyone knows, are located within our body. It is by the body that the other aspects of ourselves are given form. It is by the body that we are aware of those other two elusive parts of our being. We have a brain to make the mind and soul physical for us, although the brain itself is neither the mind nor the soul. It, is, it simply gives us a sort of manifestation of such. The mental part of ourselves is that part which is aware of reason and or emotion. It associates itself with purely reactive and rational truths. It does not concern itself with physical reality, although physical reality may be able to be determined by it. Neither does it entertain uh, interpretations of energy. It is purely theoretical. The mind asks questions such as why, how, and what. These questions are either answered in a rational manner or in an emotional manner. An individual perfectly balanced between reason and emotion is able to see truth clearly because they are using both parts of the mind and can therefore see a larger reality. Uh, finally, the soul deals with questions regarding spiritual matters. The soul interacts with the higher powers that have dominion over the earth. Even those who have concluded that these higher powers do not exist must use their soul to do so. Let me reiterate, it requires a soul to conclude that neither the God nor devil exists. But the soul itself is purely spiritual. Without it, we would have no self-awareness, sense of purpose, or any other means of met metaphysical contemplation, because all of those things are the domain of the spirit. Our wonderful brain unites all three of these aspects. Being physical, it contains the physical. Yet as a result of our awareness, we know that it grasps and interacts with the soul. And by embodying our reason and emotions, it encompasses the mind. The brain is the physical manifestation of all three aspects of the human self. So that leads me back to my videos. Why do I make videos? To engage the body, mind, and spirit. Why do I make videos? To encourage the growth of the body, mind, and spirit. And why do I make videos? To advise, know, and advance my own body, mind, and spirit. Only by balancing all three, and therefore engaging with the maximal amount of reality, will any individual truly see the truth. That is why bodily development, fitness, is just as important as logical practice and the contemplation and meditation of spiritual matters. On this channel, I wish to develop all three aspects of my being 
and hopefully to help you do the same.